We finally here. NBA 2K20, man. Hey, this build that you guys about to see right now is my build. But it will be a few minor tweaks when the official game come out. But before we dive into it, hit that thumbs up button. Let's get it. We get to tell them. Let's do it. Hey, 2K fans, I'm Alexis Morgan. And I'm Chris Manning. We're from 2K TV. And today, we just want to take a brief moment to tell you how excited we are about NBA 2K20's My Career Mode. Once again, 2K has managed to further blur the line between game and reality with the most authentic and engaging experience to date. Building your legacy begins with building your My Player. You're totally right, and that's why the first thing you'll do this year is set your potential using the brand new My Player Builder. I have literally spent hours experimenting on all kinds of different builds. The Builder basically lets you create your own archetype from scratch. Absolutely, we've given you the tools to build your My Player however you want. I even got to choose <laughs> my own takeover. Well, there's so much more worth mentioning, but you really have to see it to believe it. So, from all of us at 2K Sports and 2K TV, we hope you enjoy NBA 2K20's My Career Mode. Yes, sir. We finally here, bro. And when I tell you, I was spending so much time making this player, bro. Only thing I wanted to do was be a shot creator and a slasher, just like 2K19. But... As you guys see, bro, we're going to go through every single step. You guys going to hear my ideas, my perspective. But let's start off with the skill breakdown. You feel me? Like, this is kind of where you build your archetype from scratch. You kind of, like, look at the pop chart, match up the colors, you know what I'm saying? Like, the blue is finishing, green is shooting, playmaking is orange, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, use the pop chart to determine what you want to do most. Which category do you want to be best at? And me, I was looking for the blue and green. So, you know, I'm looking at the pie chart, looking at the attribute cats for the positions. Of course, every position will be different. So, I guess I think for a point guard, I automatically get a decent playmaking. You feel me? So, looking for the blue and green. Nice balance. Nice little averages or whatever, bro. I finally found this slashing shot creator, bro. But I'm sitting back thinking, like, do we need 85, you know, drive and dunk to get contact dunks this year? Do we need... 86 ball control to get tier three dribbling. Honestly, I do not know. As you guys seen, I did choose my physique. You know, I was more about speed and you know strength and things like that. But right now, what you're looking at is setting your potential. Now, the potential I think is the attribute cap so you guys spend your points wisely. And as you guys see, as I'm rising up the bar, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm getting badge upgrades for each category. Now, this is where it comes very important, bro. Spend your points very wisely. As I'm building up my close shot, my driving lap and stuff like that, I'm getting more driving and finishing badges. Because this year, you get to set your caps for each badge. You don't have to make every badge a freaking gold or silver. You can just set it at bronze just to have it. You feel me? But anyways, as you guys can see, you put some points on my defensive rebound. I got to have my steals, man. I got to create turnovers. As my speed caps at 84, man, things will switch up because we still not done yet. We still got to do his wingspan, his height, his weight. It's crazy. <laughs> so jumping ahead, man, you get to the point where we switch up the body shape. And this is not too important, you feel me? It's kind of like a personal preference. Me, I'd rather be as slim as possible. I want to, you know, slip through the defense, you feel me? But, uh, yeah, we get to the height. And, like, last year I was 6'4", with my slashing shot creator. This year I could be 6'5", and yes, I'd take a penalty on the points for, like, speed and vertical and things like that. Hey, it is what it is, bro. Sometimes you gotta think, like, is that one or two points really matter? I'd rather be, you know, a little bit better on defense and take a, a hit on a few points in certain categories, bro. Like, that's the type of things you gotta put in your mind. That's why I say you gotta be very careful and be comfortable on what you select. But when it comes to wingspan, like, you can kind of make up for, like, losing a shooting point because you can, you know, turn down your wingspan but it's still gonna hurt your defense, like, this year, I have to be 6'5", bro. I have to be 6'5". Like, ain't no other way. Because last year, I feel like I was too small. You feel me? But anyways, all this was recorded at Community Day. So this is somewhat my official build. Like, inside facilitator, that's going to be my build. But, like, I might tweak a few things. But right here is where you choose a takeover. There's no longer dual uh, takeover this year. So you got to choose what you want. I heard at 95 overall, you can, you know, switch 
every other game or something like that. I don't know. We we gonna see, bro. It's just a bunch of rumors out there. All I know is I'm definitely going with the shot creator takeover to start the game off this year. It's only right. But inside out facilitator, Russell Westbrook, John Wall, Steve Francis type of build, it is lit, my guy. And if you guys was following me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter ASAP if you already haven't. I tweeted out like, yo, like you could test out your player at each overall, like that's crazy. Follow me on Twitter at JuiceMan3X, man. Link is in the description. Yiddick. But anyways, let's hop into these badges. But right here is where you set your caps for each badge that you want your player to have. No, I don't automatically have Acrobat on silver. No, I have to still grind it. That's just the cap for it. And right here, I did not take too much time on it. I'm not going to lie. I was literally just adding random badges, bro. Just trying to see how things work. Trying to see what the caps are. Because just because I could put a badge right there doesn't mean I could put every badge on Hall of Fame. No. If I'm not a defender, I might only max it out at bronze. Even though I have like two or three upgrades. Every category upgrade... Uh, we have different limits, bro, depending on the uh, type of archetype you are, man. Like, it's just common sense. Pay attention. <laughs> but Dream Team with the best team, man. We about to go crazy. As I got 16 shooting badges. That's a lot of upgrades, man. That's a lot of upgrades. There's so many new badges on this game, bro. I don't know what to do with myself. It's like, you got to have that dead eye. You got to have range extender, a.k.a. limitless range. Steady shooter, I need that. Ice my veins, I ain't gonna lie. I really don't need that. I wish that was like a clutch three-point badge, but it's for free throws. That green machine and flexible release and difficult shots are must-have badges, bro. Must-have badges. And a lot of y'all gonna have that flexible release. Y'all need that on Hall of Fame, because I don't wanna hear no excuses that 2K broken or my jump shot broken. That flexible release badge is OP. But as I'm just throwing badges together, I am so glad that I got ankle break on gold. I have it on gold, bruh. That means I get to lay people down with my build. When I was tweeting about my build being like a, a Damian Lillard, bro, I was talking about being explosive and being able to shoot. Like, being able to drive the basket and dunk and being able to shoot. Like, that's crazy to me. That is amazing. I finally get ankle breaker on gold. That means I could break you down. Yo, this bit about to be fire, bro. Easily top three build. Top three guard builds, probably top five builds, period. On 2K20, bro. Facts. And like I said, I will be more detailed on, you know, my official uh badges I'm gonna use. Like I said, I was just throwing this build together. Once I seen the caps and things like that. I was like, all right, we got what we want. We kind of got like an 83, like an 83 is fire. Having an 83 point jump shot is fire to me. But yeah, we are gonna be lit, man. I just can't wait. We about to go crazy. It's right here, I was switching up the jump shot. You know I gotta go with that boy, Kobe. And what I love about this too, you get to see and test your player on every single team before actually, you know, going through the process of, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna say it just yet, but uh, yeah. You get to select your opponent as well, so. I went to the Clippers, and you know I had to go against my Lakers, man. Let's get it. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining us. And we're here to check out a My Player build for how critical one key trade acquisition. So what I do like about this year, bro, it seemed like the, the CPU really play at their potential, bro. Like, players really do what they supposed to do. They play like themselves. Balika, now on the fast break, your boy going all the way. Let's go, man. I think having that transition badge where I get a speed boost definitely helped me out in that situation. Only problem with being on a test build, I didn't I didn't even get to switch my, you know, my signature styles, bro. So everything's on normal one. Like my dribbles, my jump shot, this is Kobe. Ah, it was kind of tough. I got no dunk packages, bro. I got whatever they automatically equipped my my player. And that's tough. That was kind of tough. Look at the defense, bro. Anybody my size getting clamped up, that's on me. But you know, coming out of the court, calling for the ball from Kawhi. See my man opening that corner, Lou Will with the green. Bang! Come on, dog. <laughs> hey, that's, that's how I keep kind of lit, man. You see with your teammates, even your opponents, you know, get that green. Like, ain't no more capping no more. 
and a more cabin at the park and i love that bro so many good improvements on 2k20 you guys will see it once you you know hands on with the game man but use my player as a reference use use this gameplay as a reference on what you potentially might want to do look at the fadeaway bang let's get it one thing we had told them at community day bro they gotta tone down the blow buys they had to tone down the blow buys like that's one thing i was testing I made a slashing shot credit type of building. I was just charging the paint, blowing right past anybody, bro. It was way too easy. But Mike Wayne did clarify that on Twitter yesterday that yo, we definitely uh, nerf you know the blow buys on the game. It won't be as strong, won't be as powerful. And I appreciate that, man. Minor tweaks. He said it'd be a lot of easy fixes throughout the year. That's what I like to see, bro. Look at this. Even Paul George using blow buys on Rondo, which makes a lot of sense. That's definitely a mismatch. You feel me, like? It's definitely a mismatch right there. They call it a timeout. And I do like how they kind of switch this up, you know. Instead of just skipping and jumping ahead in the game, you kind of can just sit back and see who's out there on the floor putting up points. 2K, man, salute to you, man. For us, my career players and things like that, that's kind of dope. Matter of fact, they ain't kind of the rest. Definitely dope, man. I can see which one of my teammates out there balling out and who out there slacking, you feel me? But, you know, jumping back into the game, it's very close. I was calling for the ball, getting right back to Kawhi. And I, watch this, watch this. This is why I like the addition of this game. You see that? Do you guys see the people just happen, bro? My dude avoided Rondo, bro, after killing him with a pump fake. He avoided him and drove to the basket. Oh, man. The, the small details in the game this year. I love it. Like, I don't have an official opinion about. Oh, look at this. Oh! <laughs> Throw that clip right back. A standing contact dunk, bruh. Say less. But peep this, though. People, people LeBron doing the signature moves. Oh, my goodness. Bro, I, bro, I can't wait, bro. Slash life is the best life. Get it. Look at the live. Oh, my goodness. Bro. Hey, when I, play, when I was playing this game, bro, I was having fun with 2K. I was having fun, bro. I know they switched up the dribbling. I got to get used to it. Dribble guys got to adjust to it. Look at him. Got him leaning back. Yo. I just, like, I can't wait for you guys to see this game. I can't wait to see you guys play this game. Matter of fact, you playing it right now, bro. I dropped the video when the demo released. You feel me? But, yo. This is, this is a good game, man. This is a good game. Like, I can't wait to play the final product. I ain't going to get my official feelings about the game. But to me, it's definitely an improvement from 2k19 man it's the small things that count i ain't saying it's the best 2k ever but it's definitely gonna be a good game but i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like the video subscribe leave a comment i am out juice my drink team let's get it